Hi guys, welcome back to my channel today. I'm really excited to do this video for you guys. Sorry I've been away from the channel. I feel like every time I come back to this channel, I have a new hairstyle. And it probably makes me look like I change my hair all the time, but it's really just because I suck at making videos. Woo! So today, as you can tell from the title of this video, sorry, bra strap, we are gonna be talking about boys. I'm so excited for this video because Girl, I love watching these kind of videos. I don't know if it's because I'm on my period that I've just been watching all of them because when you're on your period, you're just even more irritated than usual, but I love watching that. I was watching Nazanin Kavari today and I was just like, girl, preach, like, I get what you mean. Like, yes, yes, yes. And I was just like, right, I'm gonna make my own video. So stay tuned for the video. Hope you guys like it. Sorry the camera quality isn't on fleek. I'm using my mobile for this because my camera just went out of battery, so this is the next best option basically. And I hope you guys like this video and don't forget to click subscribe. Click the subscribe button if you like this video and you want to watch some more of my videos. So for my first topic I'm gonna to speak about is literally not allowing boys to define your self-worth because one of my friends was saying how she was going out with this dude for like a few weeks it was like a proper steady like going out it wasn't like one of those things like you went out once so this was kind of like a thing and she went out with this dude and he completely just like like kind of ghosted on her like he literally he literally did he stopped talking to her in person no reason nothing actually went on and it was just like the stupidest thing because i was irritated because i was rooting for him from day one i was so excited for her and he just turned out to be an F boy. You know, he just he just turned out to be one of them. He wasn't doing himself any favors. And she was basically saying how she felt like, oh, she felt like, oh, well maybe like, you know, it was good going out with him because um, she felt like at least she was kind of good enough to go out with like one of the cool boys. Like he was good looking as well. And like, that was like good for her, if that makes any sense. And I was just like, um, no, because I just didn't believe in that logic. I was so confused because I was like, she was pretty and funny and smart before him. Like she didn't become those things because of him. And you know, I was just, I was just like, this guy is acting like a bum. Like I'm not, you know, calling people trash, but people want to act like trash and do things that like are just so not on. Like you know, I don't know why you can act like that. Like. Um, and I was just like, uh, no, because she's like super pretty and she's like super funny and cool and she's smart as well, like, you know, beauty and brains and, you know, you weren't like valid because you went out with the cool boy, like, in fact, you're, you're like, he's not valid enough because he missed out on his chance and I was just like, it's, you know, I was like to her, well, like, if it was like I was into someone and they weren't into me, like, that doesn't mean all of a sudden I'm not like pretty, I'm not funny, like I'm not attractive anymore because like one person out of like seven billion people is into me and you know when I told her that she kind of felt differently about it because and I also said to her it's like if you didn't like someone you were dating like or you didn't like someone who was into you that doesn't mean like they're, they're unattractive like you wouldn't think that you just think like oh like I'm just not the person for you like that's just how I feel it's nothing to do with you and then when she heard that she kind of felt differently about it which was really good so I'm telling you guys that so if anyone else is being that way because you know I just kind of felt like she felt like he was cooler than her and I was like oh well you know at least I was like good enough that he gave me a shot and I was just like you were cool and funny and smart before him anyway so like he didn't like suddenly make you into those things and like I just kind of felt that way so I was telling her and I hope to tell you guys that if any of you guys are feeling that because I can totally understand like you know if you don't feel 100% about yourself and someone cool is interested in you you kind of feel like that's like validation but like please understand like you were those things before so that's my point I'm saying Number two of things I have to say about boys. Boys don't need to be assholes to be liked. Like I feel, I just feel like I've heard like one too many stories and like, even when you listen to like some songs these days, like R&B songs, like by male artists, you just hear them be like, 
oh I like play two girls or you know I hooked up with this girl but uh my other girls in the club some crap like that and I'm just like stop like presenting the message you need to be an asshole to be liked because it's a bunch of crap like i just get so irritated because i feel like little impressionable little boys take this as facts and start acting up because they're like oh well she's into me so i'm gonna act a fool because you know i'm gonna i'm cool enough or whatever i don't even know what goes on in these boys heads not all of them my goodness it irritates me I want to give a shout out to my friend Michael he's got a YouTube channel man like Mike because honestly me and my friend were talking about this like he's one of the guys he literally has like five girls like interested in him like it's just ridiculous it's not ridiculous but like because I can see why but like they're like into him and I'm just like thank you just can we just give a round of applause to the fact that nice boys actually get like loads of girls because I feel like there's a stupid like stereotype that oh nice guys don't get girls so I think some guys think like oh I'm gonna be like super stupid like I don't even know but <laughs> you know he's just someone who's like funny he's genuine he's smart he's dead nice to people and this is why all these girls are into him it's just funny to me because like I just see it all and I'm just like I want to be the female version of that. Like, I want to be the girl that all the boys like. Like, why not? And it just literally is like, thank God. Like, there is actually nice boys out there and that all the girls like them because I think some people get it twisted in this, in this generation. And I feel like people should just follow his example. Like, be nice, be a nice person. Like, oh, just. I just hear one too many fuckboy stories and it just gets on my last nerve and I'm just like you don't need to be acting like fuckboys to think you're gonna be liked be like Michael be like Michael and <laughs> you can be liked by so many girls and it's just it's just so funny because I've literally heard stories from other friends of mine like two of my friends were just like they were talking to him and like and then like another girl would swoop in and then one of my friends was just like, I don't know if that was his girlfriend, but I was just like talking to him. I was like, I'm not going to steal your man. I was literally just talking to him about something. And then I know one of my friends was just like, every time I'm talking to him, some girl's like calling him. It's like so annoying, but it's just so funny. Number three of my point of to bring up is to not allow boys to consume all your energy. I know firsthand what it's like when you catch feelings and you literally feel like, oh my god, my brain is like hung up on one person. Oh my god, oh my god, blah blah blah. Like totally understand, I already do. But I mean, don't get me wrong. Like I said, it's fun to talk about boys, but honestly, they are not the be all and end all. If one boy doesn't like you, girl, there are so many out there. Like there are so many out there please just don't be hung up for one boy like there is so much life to live there is so much stuff to do like please like i just have, I have friends i've been in the situation myself where you're just like all i want is a boyfriend all i want is a boyfriend <laughs> like you literally just cause all you think about like i'm not even gonna lie my first university was like that my other friends first year university was like that too like and to be honest i'm not even surprised because if you think about the way like girls are brought up you're literally brought up on like disney films all the dramas you watch is all that romance and stuff like you can't really help it like <laughs> and just live your life like once you really actually sit and start thinking like i'm just gonna like live life and enjoy my life and do me and have a good time and fall in love with the little things of life like you know vibing with a really good new friend or like I don't know, going to a party and the music's good and everybody's having a good time. You're just like, yes, this is what it's like to be young and to be lived in. And you're just like, ah! You know, those are moments of life that you cherish. And like, literally you will look back at this age. I will look back at being 20 and I was like, I remember like me and my housemates just laughing about, you know, stupid stuff. And we didn't let boys consume our energy. Instead, we were just, laughing off our drama because we were just like life is too short to be hung up on this and we just wanted good vibes and we would go out and we would like 
be having so much fun vibing to music making friends and you know meeting new friends who inspire you like that's shit you fall in love with in life like don't sit there getting hung up over boys and like like it's so not worth it it really isn't because you only get this like part of your life once do you really want to sit and waste it nah you don't you don't want to waste it you really don't and my final point for this video i thought i'd finish on some positivity because i don't want to sit here and be known for bitching about boys even though they got my nerves but <laughs> literally i wanted to give some tips about how to feel confident around guys because i feel like it's a thing we all most of us go through i don't know if it's all of us but well in secondary school i was definitely one of those girls that was really insecure around boys like to be fair i went to more girls school so like boys were like the unknown species so that was really just why <laughs> it was only until like the first year of university I actually like came into play but my tip would be honestly like this is what I did and first year of university I really liked someone and I was like and I think at the back of my mind I knew they weren't into me but I was like you know what I'm actually gonna do something my 16 year old self couldn't do and I was like I'm gonna make the first move and I was like and I remember literally being in my, um, what's it called? It's not a dorm room, but it is a dorm room, but I don't think we call that, that here. I was literally in my dorm room and I was like prepping myself. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do this. I'm like, I'm not doing this to prove like, oh, if he says yes, like he likes me, blah, 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 blah. Like, you know, I'm gonna be someone's girlfriend. I wasn't the plan, I was like, I'm gonna do this to prove a point to myself that I can do something my 16 year old self would be shit scared to do and I did it and I got rejected and I, it was so funny but like on the way back I literally was just like yes like I did it I did it like I mean obviously the rejection hurt like I ain't gonna lie but it didn't actually hurt that much because I was more excited because I was like oh my goodness like I actually did it I Tasha asked someone out and I didn't die like and it made me just like more fearless in the sense because I was like you literally don't die if you do these things. You don't die if you tell someone how you feel about them. Do it for yourself. Do it to be brave. Like, I know that sounds like, oh my God, like, what are you doing? But I was proud of myself. And honestly, those experiences, like, helped me grow as a person because then I felt, like, less, less, what, less? <laughs> less, like, nervous around guys. And I'm so proud of myself, like, for doing them because I'm just, like, well done to me, like. And it made me more confident and it made me, when I said, you know what, it's actually not that scary as I thought it was going to be. So I would really recommend you guys do that, like, just do it. Like, if you get rejected, like, you did it for your self-confidence at the end of the day. Like, so, I hope you guys liked this video. I'm very sorry if it's probably a little bit long, but I filled it with wisdom that I felt you guys needed to know. And I will see you guys very soon. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And you can also leave some comments too. Of what you guys think. Or what you guys think about boys. And that kind of thing. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye.